Things are definitely getting interesting in this battle of systems. From Xbox to Nintendo to PlayStation 5, it seems like everybody is really trying to do their best to pay to win, to get the best studios, to get the best games, to do what it takes to get the most sales. But this acquisition, we need to talk about this Sony deal that just happened this morning because it feels different. I think that Sony is actually about to try something very dangerous, and I kind of respect it. What if Gamers Dreamcast guy here, and be sure to ring the bell and subscribe and all that, because today we're going to be digging into this acquisition of Nix's joining the PlayStation Studios. Now, this is actually gigantic, and I want to explain why, because some people think that this is just a strange or maybe even a bad move. Now, Nixus, they have a very specific actual use. If you read through this press release, it barely says what they do. It's just, hey, we're glad that you're joining it. You're some world-class game developers. You're super duper good, and we really, really love you. But here's my thoughts. This is again being made by Herman Holst. Herman Holst has been talking a lot recently. If you actually read a lot of his interviews and stuff, he's a bit of a chatterbox. And some of the things he said has kind of caused some stir. Specifically, he's been saying there is currently not an arms race in the gaming industry. This isn't some sort of thing where everybody's trying to buy up the best studios for the smallest price tag. Now, the reason Herman's saying this is because he is the tastemaker for PlayStation. His job is to find studios to make those deals and to make sure stuff is fun to play before it comes out. It's a very specific job, but it seems like he does it well. Well, the reason he's been making this statement is because Xbox is buying everything. It's really hard to oversell the fact that Microsoft, after this Bethesda acquisition, the fact that ZeniMax, Doom, everything is, is part of the Xbox family now, this is only half the story. When you really consider it, it's even bonkers to consider the fact that indie studios, AAA, AA, there's just such a wide scope of stuff that's actually going to Xbox and even just Game Pass. It seems like Microsoft is trying to consolidate power. And now, all of a sudden, you know, PlayStation's coming out and saying, oh, we're going to buy a bunch of studios too, but it's completely unrelated. Herman Holst specifically is just saying that this is not an arms race. But to me, this feels like a silly statement. It feels like in those old 90s gangster movies where you have this guy sauntering, looking all spooky, some nice like suit on and stuff, and he sits down at a table and he pulls out a gigantic gun and he sets it down and he's like, hey man, I want to get a, an order of spaghetti. Is he actually threatening anybody? No. But tactically, the point is to apply pressure. I think that PlayStation and Xbox right now, they're posturing. They both want to try and make sure that the other guy is threatened for the lowest cost possible. But why is this specifically a big deal? Because, I mean, let's face facts, even if you're watching this video, even if you're a long-term fan, I've never mentioned Nix's before. You get, we probably, you know, I might not even be explaining their name right. This is a Dutch company. Maybe this isn't even how their company is pronounced. Well, let me show you what's up. Nix is, there are these people that actually do these very, very top tier PC ports. Some of the best PC ports in the world, including Deus Ex, Tomb Raider, all the way back to Soul Reaver, I've seen their name on boxes. This is some crazy talent. Now this to me feels like a very direct jab against Xbox. This feels like PlayStation has been looking at the landscape and they thought, okay, what is something that's going to actually put some real effort, some real press on top of Microsoft? I think better PC ports could actually do that. Right now, let's face facts. PlayStation has not been particularly good at taking their exclusive games and putting them onto other platforms. And I mean just in general from a technical standpoint. Horizon Zero Dawn, I absolutely love Horizon Zero Dawn. I think it is a freaking masterpiece of open world exploration and leveling and collecting and stuff like that. The PC port of it ran like hot garbage on a summer day, because baby, it was just terrible. It didn't necessarily crash, but it chugged, it had bad frame rates, it just had a lot of very specific technical issues that were pretty much pointless. Like, there was no reason for this game that was seemingly optimized so well to be just dragged and dropped in such a poor state on PC. I think that PlayStation realizes that they have to do things right. If you're going to be just saying, all right, our game's now, after two years, now this is my personal theory, I think that every PlayStation game, two years later now, 
is going to be coming to PC. So PS5 games, PS4 games, everything. Returnal, I bet it's going to come to PC at some point. Uncharted, I think that the older Uncharted games are definitely coming to PC at some point. But if it's a bad product... I think more than anything, gamers have some incredibly good memories. If you drop a bad port, if you screw them over once, they're never going to forget it. So it seems like PlayStation is trying to make a more concerted effort to do them right. To make it where if we're selling a game that's two years old, but we're selling it for full price, because these games are definitely going to be a full 60 bucks when they come to PC, it better be the best ports possible. But here's my thoughts. Here's why I believe that this is an effort to put pressure on Xbox specifically. Because right now, I think that there has been... A strangely positive amount of conversation of people saying, I like that I can be an Xbox gamer and a PC gamer at once. Like, this still kind of blows my mind because I'm predominantly a console person, but there has been this sense of pride I've seen from a lot of very hardcore Xbox people where they say, I like that I have my Xbox One or my Xbox Series X or my Series S, and next to it, I have a really good gaming laptop or a supercomputer that could do like 8K or whatever. And they like the ability to do both. They like that there is this ability to have like Xbox Game Pass on PC and console and just to be able to interchange their experiences. I think that Sony realizes that they need to try and capture this magic and more importantly they need to capture that profit. I mean PC gamers are an increasingly large demographic especially in places like China. They pretty much only game on PC so there is a huge untapped bank account there that could be people that are future fans of God of War. They're future fans of Spider-Man, people who will definitely swing around and mod these experiences and get the most bang for the buck. And more than anything else, it's free money. Right now, I think that PlayStation realizes that if they want to try and survive as long as possible, if they want to get the biggest amounts of free cash... This is the way to do it. Give the people what they want. Give them exclusives on the PlayStation 5 for the first two years. Give them a chance to experience it and brag about it and say, hey, this is a great PlayStation experience. And then later on, port it to other systems. This is such an interesting choice, and I'm kind of curious how this plays out. It's difficult to say because right now, I mean, this acquisition obviously just happened, but I'm hoping to see more talks soon. The fact that we're seeing Sony scoop up these studios, Housemark, the rumors of Blue Points, there's rumors that Blue Points working on Metal Gear Solid, it makes me think that something big is in the works, something beyond just a state of play, something beyond just an E3, something major is happening over at Herman Holst and PlayStation. Something is about to go down, and I'm curious to see what it is. But what do you guys think? Did you enjoy this video? Please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and of course, you know, uh, share with your friends if you haven't, but also do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. I have an angry rant that's coming out later today all about Final Fantasy, uh, and I never thought I'd have to do that, but uh, it should be fun. So I'll see you guys later. Much love, and thanks for watching. Man, this is so bizarre. I, as a non-PC gamer, this is just mills my brain a little bit, but hey, it's the future, baby. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.